because there's <laughs> because there's a book called Perks of Being a Wallflower, and I feel like this is Groundhog Day, and he explains that he is very observant. He kind of you know sticks to himself. He doesn't he doesn't bring attention to himself, and he just sees everything, and I love that. So. Um, I guess it was around the time I really started drawing and the name kind of stuck and I love observing things, I love observing people. Why only Sharpies? Because they are very precise and sharp and <laughs> hence the name and you can't erase them. They're, you know with, with paint and acrylics you, you know you, you screw something up and you can kind of like maneuver your way into making it right. But Sharpie, once you screw up, you can't, you can't make anything right. Yeah. Ruby Rose, I colored the wrong part of her eye in, and I was so blown because I was on hour seven. And I just let it go for a while. But then I just realized I could cover it up and with a bar and it, it turned out pretty well. How's it going out here in LA with your artwork? Are you getting attention? Yeah, I mean, as much attention as I could ask for, you know? I mean, anything's, nothing's gonna happen overnight, you know? I mean, I only had one art show, and that was like by accident, you know? So I just need to start entering more art shows and kind of get my name out there and not just use Instagram. Are you in advance clothes? Do you think uh, they thought it was a good decision for you to come out here on your own? No, <laughs> not at all, but, you How do you know, deal with that? I mean, in my head, it makes sense. You know, and but to them it doesn't, and it's not going to make sense to them. You know, um, I'm very, I'm very like out of the box person, I'm very creative, and and not going to live a normal life. You know, so for me, I think they just kind of have to bear with me. You know, because I'm not some like lazy piece of shit. You know, just chilling out here. Um, I just want my art to be recognized, and it takes a lot of time for that. Yeah. Who would you say you appeal to the most? How many people like ask you to do work for them? I feel like it comes in waves. Like a lot of my following, they're younger, you know, they're younger girls, and they can't afford what I'm asking, and, that, and that's totally fine. Like I understand, you know, because we've all been there. But for me, is this stuff takes me a really long time, you know, and I put a lot of work and effort into it, you know, so. Something that's gonna take me seven hours, that's minimum, seven hours. I'm not charging $50 for it, you know? My original pieces, they can. $50. Yeah. Right. And still support, you know? So, where do you see yourself in a few years? Where do you see Wallflower out here? I mean, honestly, I would love to see it everywhere, you know? Like, Main Scooter used to walk downtown LA and I would see drawings on the, build on the buildings and. I'm like, damn, my shit could be on that, you know? And I'm just hoping that, you know, enough people will believe in me where I can gain that traction and I can get that, I can get my pieces on giant billboards or on the side of buildings or album artwork or clothing lines, you know? Because ultimately I want people to look at my stuff and recognize that it's mine. Right, and that's pretty unique so people will recognize um, what your Instagram is kind of. My name, Corey Maddie. What about your art page? It's Wallflower Art CM, but it's all gridded pictures, so you see them in my desk. <laughs>